What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to try to explain the ending as well as the true ending of Returnal. So we're going to jump right in. I know you guys obviously come for the explanation, and here's the deal. It's very confusing. I myself have an interpretation of it. I want to go over some of the theories I've also seen other people say because I think there's a lot of people out there that are much smarter than me. So I want to go over all of that um, because it's kind of very conflicting of what how you, I guess, read into what's happening to Celine throughout this game, okay? I take it as this is her personal hell. I feel like that's what a lot of people are taking it as. That could be kind of the, that, that's kind of the general public's opinion, is that she dies, okay? So she's not actually alive during the, the events of the game. You're seeing a lot of the past you see when you're going through the house, and it's a representation basically of her life being obsessed with being an astronaut, with being able to explore kind of the great unknown or the outer space, and it destroys her entire family. And so this reoccurring, you know, when you die, you come back to life and everything's kind of shifted. This is her personal hell for kind of atoning for those sins. That's what I believe. That's what I've seen a lot of other people say. There is one person that I did see out there that talked about how they don't believe she actually is dead in the fact that they believe that she actually survived the crash, which, by the way, technically she does, and I'll talk about that in a second, but that the entire game is just her accepting and moving on from what happened in the past, learning to make peace with the past. I feel like it could be a combination of both those things. I definitely feel like, though, she did die when she crashed, and you'll see this in the the uh, base ending. So in the base ending, she's driving, and she sees the, a white astronaut, which actually, when you do the true ending, or if you guys see the true ending, that is also her. So she kind of is seeing herself, and, and that version of her is after she kind of... Um, fully moves on from the idea of, of, of what she's done, right? When she pushes her mother to the ground and she says, like, I, I, you know, basically I feel sorry for what happened, but it still happened and, and that's just the way it is. Then she turns into the white astronaut, which is then the person that I guess technically drives her off the edge. So she falls or the, the, the car crashes. She can't reach her daughter. And that's that's the end of the game in terms of the base ending is that it, it kind of shows you how it all happened. So that was her death. And then she gets transported and she's basically in the game that we know of Returnal uh, for the, uh, the, the entirety of the game. Now, there's a couple of extra layers to it, though, where there's one layer you don't it's not the true ending you do escape and you're basically given a second chance at life okay so she's living her life she ends up living I, some people are throwing around the uh, 63 years that she she keeps living for that amount of time and then she dies and then she's sent right back into the hell so it's a very um it's a very dark game there really is no happy ending i would argue there's no you know there's no like sunlight at the end of all this stuff because even in a, a version where she does end up g being able to go back and escaping and, and getting out of the water. She still lives her life and dies, okay? And then once she dies, I mean, obviously that's going to happen. But when she dies, she's sent back and she does it all over again. So she's still trapped in just this endless loop. Now, one thing I want to say is I want to talk about the secret ending or the true ending, which, uh, you know, I found much later than, than the actual ending or, you know, I saw it online. And what I think is interesting about this is a couple things. So in the base ending, you don't see her get out of the, the water, okay? In the base ending, it's really just showing you this is what happened, she's dead, and, and like this is what basically transport, because then you see kind of like the tentacles coming for her. You see how she gets to where she is in the game, okay? That's the base ending. But then in the true ending... She escapes the car and she's swimming up to the surface and it gets, vi and I mean, you guys will obviously see this too. It gets very, very bright. She kind of reaches out her hand. It, it makes it, again, it leaves it up for interpretation, I think, because I've seen a lot of people say one thing. I actually think it could also be a mix and could be something else. You see her swimming, but then she definitely starts to slow down. It gets bright and it almost seems like she stops swimming, but I, I think she probably does make it out. And then... She lets, and then it, it goes black, and she lets out a huge gasp, okay, as if she's coming out from water, although that's not, you know, it doesn't have to be that, and then she says Helios. Now, what's funny about that is if you go back to kind of, you know, the middle of this video when I was talking about the 
alternate ending or like the part of the game I mean, you get a trophy for it i don't even know what you want to consider it but if you go down the alternate route of and again again i believe it's after you beat the final boss you go back into you know the real world you live your life and then you die but when you die again she thinks everything's all fine like she finally did it you end up right back and she lets out a small gasp and she also says helios and i think that they did that very much on purpose because the gasp while not as loud as the true ending the true ending definitely they make it sound like she's like uh, gasping for air right she's trying to breathe but I mean they could just have done that I think to fool with us and then she says Helios which is the exact you know I mean? it, it, like it it sounds so similar I almost feel like she could have died or made it out of the water and still ended up right back in like I said it could be very well a mix of those two things because when you see her swimming out to the surface it could just be you know that cutting to black moment could just be what we've already seen she lives her whole life she doesn't live it very well and then she dies and she ends up going back to hell and then that's where we get the gasping and that's where we get the helios and you know to celine in that world it's like in that you know like it was so fast it was like a split second kind of thing so you know the, the basis of the game i do think is relatively simple in fact when i told my wife that i knew the ending of the game the first thing she said is she died she was dead all along and i was like wow you nailed it and she said well, wasn't that hard to figure out so you know that part I think is relatively easy but the idea of you know she kind of escapes but then she really doesn't and, and, and all this stuff that's the ending okay that's the ending I don't know how this factors into a Returnal 2 I do want to make a video on that uh, in the future because I do think you could probably continue the story even with Celine if you wanted to but that's what I got out of it there's obviously a lot of psychological or even like philosophical things again of you know a, a dealing with uh, that kind of like not really greed but that idea that you want all of this stuff but you but you're focusing on it so much that you end up destroying your family and breaking it all apart so there is a lot of like mental stuff that's going on in this game and a lot of again like kind of atoning for the sins that she lived in the real world right again though there's different ways you can look at it either she actually is dead or maybe like that one person said that i at least that i saw maybe there's other people that she didn't actually she wasn't actually dead this is some sort of just her figuring it all out right just kind of realizing what she's done and kind of moving past it so i know not the greatest you know i i don't know the answers to all of this stuff it, it's uh it's not a death stranding situation but I, I would say it's definitely closer death stranding than other games so let me know guys in the comments below what do you think what do you think about the ending what do you think about the true ending anything that i missed let me know in the comments below if you guys did like this, um, I'm going to be covering more Returnal. I've been covering it for quite a while, but I'll be doing many, many more videos on the game. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turn on, leave this video a like, and I'll see you all on the next video.